So you can turn it to just heating or heating and water. On the manual it tells you how to use it. Green is the setting we want. Flashing means it's heating up. However, from the fence there's nothing because there's not enough water in the van. So we've driven to a highway for BP. They have a tap and we have to use our own hose to connect and add water just so we can get heating. So now that we connected it, we can turn on the tap and start filling up our water. And it's all free. So let me show you how much water we have. 25% and it's still not enough to heat up. So let's wait for him to fill up and we'll see it go up. So now it's going in. Ah! So now it's going through. Feeding up the water tank. But it's quite slow. You can't have it that um, fast because it didn't go down the hose very well. 50%! And just keep filling until it's 100. So now the water is full. But we've run out of gas because this no longer works. So it's we bring um, portable gas stove in there. And when there's no gas, it means the fridge also does not work. So now the fridge is off. So all the food can go bad. So we have to go to a shop to buy a gas canister to replace Campsites are really expensive to stay at, How, so you don't have to stay there, but you need to think about all your resources running out. We have solar panels on this camper fan, which means we always have lots of electricity. So you can look at the voltage. Uh, this one. So when you turn on the engine, it also runs the fridge. But when the engine's off, we don't drive that often, so everything's running on gas. So that's why the gas is out so quick. Even though this camper is made for so many people, like one there, two here, two here, and you can also sleep on the sofa, add on some extra chairs and things, but you honestly, you don't have enough resources to cook for everyone. Or like enough water to shower. Like... This is the toilet, it's only been a few days. This red means how full it is. If it's green, that's how much is uh, clear. So to flush, you add some uh, things that dissolve the, the urine and the feces. And then you pull this lever that way to flush and then you pull it back. We have a couple of windows. And we have a couple of switches, which are by touch. Oh, I'm a bit short. Okay. Or you have switches, which turn on some and off. So if you decide to not use a campsite like we are, um, you have to use a campsite if you don't have enough resources, or if you need to discharge the the waste, like I showed you earlier. These sockets, USB ports only work if the engine's on. However, we have a couple that will always work no matter what. So you can always charge. However, the other sockets, which I think there's a few around here and here, they'll only work if you are connected to charge, which means you would have to be at a campsite. This one looks like another lighter spot. So it turns out this is a Swiss shop but our van uses French bottles. So actually, we have to drive all the way to France to be able to buy a bottle to replace the gas. And the autonomy for that should be five to six days with us using heating. And so far, we've only used a few days. Obviously, the original bottle was not full because we had to, we rented this from 
someone, so. We're entering France. Whee! To go get the gas cylinder. Use any lane to take the slip road to A35. Continue. So we've reached France and this place doesn't exist. So we've asked the local where we can go. And he said the supermarket. So we're going to try a supermarket next. Uh, currently he needs some help with jump starting his car. So we are now here. Okay, so now we're on the second or third location to change our gas. So you have to fill out another contract. It costs 20 euros and then it costs a bunch more because it's a different type of canister. But we've already driven for like, I don't know, two hours and we still have enough two hours to go back to our original location. So we just paid for it. in the gas, in the camper van. All our problem in 10 hours, in the last 10 hours, solve it. You see? Okay. Yes, the same. This is for the, for this. So we had to drive all the way to France because the opening is different. Now getting a new one. Ah, you have to be really strong. Okay, now it's tight. Ready? You ready to open? Uh-huh. Ah, now we have gas again. Now we're gonna have heating and everything. And a working fridge. So now we have water and change the gas it's now lit up and it's heating up and then the fridge is no longer blinking so we turned it off and on no more blue blinking light so now our fridge will finally get cold returning back merge onto to a35 then continue onto e25 